Greetings and welcome to the module 5 NMR instrumentation. The objective of this session is to learn the basic instrumentation of NMR spectroscopy. The outcome is at the end of the session the learners will be able to explain the basic instrumentation of NMR spectroscopy. Before going to the instrumentation of NMR spectroscopy, let us revise the previous modules where we have learnt the principles of NMR spectroscopy. We all know that in NMR spectroscopy we have to create the energy levels by giving magnetic field and to that if we irradiate the radio frequency radiation then the flipping of protonic spins used to take place which we will going to get as a peak in the NMR spectrum. By having this in our mind, we will going to correlate that in this particular module. So here we are having magnets north pole and south pole which are meant to create the energy levels in the nucleus and we are having a radio frequency transmitter to irradiate radio frequency radiation and radio frequency receiver is there in the instrumentation to collect the radio frequency radiation out of the absorption and you, we are having a recorder to record the absorption phenomena. As it is clearly mentioned in the instrumentation, we need a magnet. The magnets may be permanent magnets, electromagnets or superconducting magnets. Based on the requirement, we have to use different types of magnets. And in the image, you can see here it is a sample tube where we have to insert our sample in the sample holder. The sample tube is held vertically and spins around the vertical axis to attain the magnetic homogeneity. In this particular slide you can see the sample holder is continuously rotating to have a uniform exposure of magnetic field from the north and south pole of the magnets. That is the meaning of that. We are using a field and frequency sweep coil to have a uniform and homogeneous exposure of magnetic field and radio frequency radiation. And radio frequency transmitter is used to irradiate radio frequency radiation and radio frequency receiver is meant to record the absorption of radio frequency radiation and finally which is recorded in the recorder in the form of spectrum. In our next slide let us see the working. So in this is the sample holder which is made in glass. This sample holder is completely spinning in a vertical axis to have a uniform exposure of magnetic field and this sample holder is surrounded by a radio frequency receiver and transmitter coil. See this is the transmitter through which radio frequency radiation is transmitted to the sample holder after the absorption the radio frequency receiver will going to receive the signal and it is sent to the recorder and the recorder records in the form of spectrum. 
the working the sample is placed in the magnetic field when the radio frequency transmitter is tuned to the resonance frequency the signal arises in the receiver this is the simple working mechanism of nmr spectroscopy i repeat the sample is placed in a magnetic field when the radio frequency radiation is transmitted from the transmitter and it is tuned to the radio frequency resonance frequency then signal arises in the receiver and this is the basic instrumentation thanks for your active participation kindly attend the online session the google meet platform for clarification google meet link and timetable will be shared through whatsapp group thank you very much